Hello children, welcome to Best Tutor. In today's video, we are going to learn the basic concepts of compound interest and solve few examples. What is compound interest? First of all, what is interest? What do you mean by interest? Interest is the extra amount paid when we clear off the loan. Extra amount paid or additional amount paid. For example, we borrow 1000 rupees and would repay it at the end of two months. This is a simple example. Then we would definitely pay 1000 rupees plus some additional amount so as to clear up the debt. This additional amount is called as interest. Okay. Now interest can be calculated using different procedures. Depending upon the procedure, we give it a name. One is simple interest. And the other is compound interest. You might have definitely learned about simple interest in your previous classes, but I would like to quickly recapitulate what is simple interest. As the name suggests, it is simple. What do you mean by simple interest? We will consider an example for this and then move on. For example, find the simple interest on a sum of 5000 rupees for two years at the rate of 10 percent per annum. This is the question. How would you solve it? So as to solve it, we know we have to know the formula or the procedure to find out the simple interest. Here, the amount, the sum of money which is borrowed is called as principal. Principal is the money borrowed or lent out. So here in this question, the money borrowed is 5000 rupees. And it is borrowed for a duration of two years, which is the time period. Time period is two years. Okay. And the rate is 10% per annum. I will elaborate on this. Rate percent is equal to 10%. What do you mean by this 10%? 10 percent? 10 per cent. We all know that cent is the word representing 100. So 10 for every 100 rupees. So for every 100 rupees we borrow, we need to pay an additional amount of 10 rupees. Is it clear? And this is 10% per annum. So if we understand the question, the terminology becomes extremely simple. So for every 100 rupees we have borrowed, we need to pay 10 rupees per annum per one year. So depending upon the number of years you have borrowed the money, the amount or whatever is the interest is going to be increasing. So how do we calculate? There should be a simple procedure for that. What is the procedure? The formula for simple interest or SI is P into T into R by 100. Principal into time into rate by 100. This is a very simple formula. The simple interest is directly proportional or it increases or decreases along with the principal, time period and rate of interest. So simple interest is equal to PTR by 100. By applying this formula, how do you calculate the simple interest here? 5000 is the principal. Time is 2 years and it is 10 by 100. We all know the calculation. It's going to be 1000 rupees. So at the end of 2 years, so as to clear off the loan of 5000 rupees, the simple interest to be paid is 1000 rupees. So principal is 5000. Simple interest is 1000. Therefore, what is the final amount paid at the end of the two years? It's going to be 5000 plus 1000. 
which is going to be 6000 rupees which is the final amount paid to clear up the debt fine this is a procedure to find out simple interest now how do we calculate compound interest what does it mean compound interest we will understand the concept and then we will also understand the procedure i have given you an example here but before going to the example we will understand the procedure to find out compound interest and also the terminologies involved in this concept it is not entirely different from uh, simple interest only thing is there is some simple or uh, additional steps to be followed what are those we will understand before going to that the terminologies are p stands for principal t stands for time period and r stands for rate of interest okay now how do you calculate this compound interest unlike simple interest where we calculate the entire interest at the same time in compound interest we are going to calculate it yearly what does it mean if at all we take a loan of 500 rupees for 2 years at 10% per annum what should be the amount or the compound interest to be paid at the end of this 2 years we are going to calculate what is the procedure to be followed we will divide this 2 years as two parts first year and second year whereas in the case of simple interest we are going to calculate for collectively for both the years now first year the principal is 500 rupees time period is going to be one year and rate of interest is 10% per annum i will calculate simple interest for this simple interest for the first year we know the formula of simple interest is ptr by 100 so it's going to be 500 into 1 into 10 by 100 which is going to be 50 rupees so this is the simple interest at the end of first year yeah so for the uh, first year the simple interest is 50 rupees so what is the amount to be paid at the end of one year to clear up the debt if at all i would like to clear up the debt at the end of one year itself what is the amount i am going to pay the original principal which i have borrowed plus the additional amount additional money which is the interest so it's going to be 500 plus 50 which is going to be 550 rupees if at all i would like to clear out the loan at the end of one year i have to pay 550 rupees as the final amount now this is going to be taken as the principal for the second year so there is an increase in the principal this is called as there is an increase in the principal every year this is the procedure to be followed in compound interest whereas in simple interest the principal remains the same for every year and compound interest the principal keeps increasing for the first year it is 500 rupees for the second year it has become 550 rupees which is nothing but the amount at the end of the first year so you have to remember that principal for the next year is going to be equal to the amount for the previous year and the time is one year right rate of interest is 10% So what will be the simple interest for the second year? It's going to be PTR by hundred again. So if you observe, we are using the same simple formula, which is PTR by hundred. Five fifty into one into ten by hundred, which is going to be fifty five rupees. So the interest at the end of the second year is fifty five rupees, right? So, what is the final amount I have to pay at the end of the second year? Is principal 
plus interest which is 550 plus 55 which is 605 rupees so the amount or the principal i have borrowed is 500 i am going to repay at the end of two years is 605 rupees isn't it so what is the additional amount we are paying here that is the compound interest compound interest is nothing but final amount minus original principal which is 605 rupees minus 500 rupees which is nothing but 105 rupees i hope this is clear now with this simple basic knowledge we will move on to another example find the amount and the compound interest on 5000 rupees for two years at the rate of 10 percent per annum it is similar to the previous one only difference is the, in the previous example, we have principal as 500 rupees. Now here we have the principal as 5,000 rupees. Um, let us change the... Okay, we have changed the principal as 6,000 rupees. Now find the amount and compound interest on 6,000 rupees for two years at the rate of 10% per annum. Right, let us understand this question. First thing is to be... Uh, identifying the terminologies principal is 6000 rupees duration or time period is two years and rate of interest is 10 percent per annum now let us find out the compound interest so as to find out the compound interest we have to consider two years separately every year we are going to calculate it separately Okay, now let us consider the first year. Here, principal is 6,000. It's always advisable. You better write down the terminologies or the value separately for every year so as to avoid confusion. Principal is 6,000. Time is one year. Rate is 10% per annum. It doesn't take much time, children. You better write down the value separately now here interest is going to be principal into t time into r rate of interest by 100 ptr by 100 which is nothing but 6000 into 1 into 10 by 100 which is 600 rupees so this is the interest for the first year or interest at the end of the first year now, what is the amount to be paid at the end of the first year? The formula is principal plus interest. The original money we borrow plus the additional money we need to repay, which is going to be 6,000 plus 600, which is 6,600 rupees. This is the amount at the end of the first year, but that becomes the principal at the beginning of the second year. So when we write down the values for the second year, we have principal as 6600 time is one year rate is 10 percent per annum now we will calculate the interest again interest is p into t into r by 100 p into t into r by 100 which is nothing but 6600 into 1 into 10 by 100 which is going to be rupees 660 so as the interest is equal to 660 rupees the amount to be paid at the end of the second year is going to be principal plus interest which is 6600 plus 660 rupees which is going to be 7,260 rupees. This is the amount to be paid at the end of the second year. But now we have to find out the compound interest. 
what is the compound interest paid for both the years put together? It's going to be given by the formula final amount minus original principal. What is the original principal here? It's 6,000. That is the sum borrowed. And the final amount which is being paid is 7,260 minus 6,000, which is going to be rupees 1260 rupees this is the compound interest which is paid at the end of two years and 7260 rupees is the amount which is being paid at the end of two years with this we come to an end of the introduction to compound interest with the simple examples